Hey there, it's Crafty Jennabog. Another Defemerember 2022 prompt about to happen. Uh, as always, this is hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. It is for um, the prompt list to inspire you for making ephemera each day for 25 days in December. Today is day 11 which is handmade stamp and a jumbo tag. That's kind of exciting, actually. I have made stamps in the past using foam. Uh, my daughter and I actually have a video here um, on my channel where my daughter and I made stamps together. I can link it down below if you're interested. Um, I'm gonna make some new stamps today, which is something I have a lot of fun doing. And of course the jumbo tag. Um, today's animal is the toucan. I think I might use this one. This is a f from a free printable that Louisa Heinzel made for this Defemer Ember series. And I think this one is really pretty. And it should work for my tag. It is a little small though, but I'll make it work. So for the jumbo tag, this like thin, it's like a thin cardboard um, is what I'm going to use for the tag. I'm going to make it a bit smaller than the other one I made um, a couple of days ago. Which day was that? day seven when I did the handwritten memory and the loaded tag. I made that tag really big. Um, this one will not be as big as that one. So it won't be the biggest tag I made. First thing I want to do is make some stamps. They're going to need some drying time. So I can go ahead and make those and then let them dry while I work on the tag. Since the bird is quite a tropical one, I kind of wanted to make some tropical leaf shapes. Um, let's see. This foam is just a regular, like, thin kids craft foam. Let's go ahead and cut this one out. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's pretty big. I did not intend for it to be that big. It just kind of got away from me. So with these, you just cut them out. Now, for these pieces where the gap, there are little gaps, I'm just going to color them in with the pencil. I'm just going to press really hard because I don't want those to be, to have any like um, texture. I don't want them to show up in, I'm depressing them so that they don't come up in the pattern, hopefully. I'm going to test all of these stamps I make today before using them on the tag. So it's kind of like a palm leaf, kind of, <laughs> a very big one. Next, I want some smaller plant-like stuff. Oh, I think I want a branch for the toucan to sit on. And I want some texture. I 
like to take these little scraps and I like to just cut shapes out of them. That one kind of looks like an egg. It's not a bad idea. I can make a nest. Okay, I think that is enough for now. I will get some Bristol board to back them on. I'm going to use some tacky glue. I want to make sure I leave some space between them to cut around them. I'm just going to cut out some more circles out of scraps. those dry, I'm going to work on the tag. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut around this guy too. Alright, I have decided I want to paint this and then build up the background. Um, I'm going to start off with using this fuchsia color and I might blend in a little bit of this vivid pink. This is usually not my color scheme. Typically, I avoid pinks, but you know what? Let's have fun. It's tropical. All right. I will let that dry, and then we'll go from there. All right, I dried this with my heat gun. It is completely dry. I want to dribble some ink on it. So I have this yellow, yellowish gold acrylic ink. It is actually, what color did it say? Indian yellow. not completely dry and that's okay but I also have this other ac acrylic ink that is a iridescent rich bl bronze blondes and I want to add that as well This has become delightfully grungy. I think I want to use a little Wild Honey Distress spray stain and just kind of like splotch. Alright, let me dry this off and then I have one more thing I'm going to do to it. Okay, so this is mostly dry now. You can see all those really cool bronze inflections. It's really interesting. Definitely the grungiest thing I've done. And what I want to do is I'm gonna pour I'm gonna put just a little bit of the bronze ink in this well. 
And then I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to brush along the edge, but I'm going to tilt it in the tilt it like that while I'm doing it so that maybe it runs a little. Is done. I'm going to let that dry and while that's drying I'm going to cut out and test the stamps. All right here are the stamps I made. I'm going to test them out using the Tim Holtz Distress Permanent Mixed Media Ink Palette and some plain copy paper. That turned out pretty cool. I smeared it a little, but it did what I wanted. I should have made the, um, shouldn't have cut it so close, but otherwise I like it. It works just the way I wanted it to with the gaps. Awesome. That's going to be amazing. Let's see how this one comes out. Okay, a little bit of texture in there. I like it better on the second stamp. I bet that's what it would look like with the vintage photo. But I have a feeling I'm going to need to use the dark colors. So it would be awesome if I could stick it to the acrylic block. Ooh. Okay. Those turned out cool. Let's try the egg. I love them. Um that's a perfect egg. Still going to get quite a few stamps. This one is that flower, the weird flower that was supposed to be eggs in a nest. I like that one a lot, actually. That turned out cool. And then let's do the bubbles. I'll do the bubbles in gray. Last but not least, this flower. I do wish that part didn't cut off, but I love it. Wow, those turned out really, really cool. I'm excited about these. Okay, well, it's time to start working on the tag. All right, this has dried. I've got this beautiful, grungy, metallic tag. This is definitely the grungiest thing I've done so far, and I'm not mad about it at all. I wasn't sure about the pink. Pink is normally like the last color I choose for anything. So I was kind of shocked when I grabbed pinks first. But this, I'm quite impressed with, honestly. Which is also something I don't usually say about my stuff. So I did, once this was dry, I gotta back it. Once this was dry, I sprayed a workable fixative over it just I mean it's similar to hairspray um, you use it a lot when you um, do watercolor or Conti crayon pencil sketches things like that so that you don't smudge and you can still work upon it so hopefully that protects the paint while also allowing me to stamp on it 
so my plan is I think I am gonna go with the darker brown because it's gonna have I need something to contrast with these bright colors cross your fingers oh yes awesome very cool I want to do that again here I absolutely love it. Should I do another here, maybe? Awesome. Oh my goodness. I love that way more than I thought I would. Okay, it seems to be drying. Sweet. Yes. Uh, oh man, there's still a lot of ink on there. So I want my branch over here and I want my toucan over here. And I cut his tail, so he was sitting on a branch, but I cut the branch out completely and I cut his tail out and I wanted it to look like it was behind the stamp. So let's see if that works. I want to do this one up here. So I'm going to let this dry a bit. I might spray some more fixative over it so that I don't mess it up anymore. Overall, I am pleased. Okay, this is dried. I went ahead and sprayed more of the workable fixative over it once it was dry, just so that the um, ink actually stayed in place. It wasn't permanent ink versus an oxide, but I just, I don't know, it felt right. Now I can't like smear it off. So, I love this. Love it love it. So I want to put my bird right there. So let's get some glue. This is a situation where embossing might come in handy. I could emboss and make him shiny like the rest of it, like everything else, because it's kind of, that's a bit of a sheen. So he's very matte against it. I might have to spray it. Maybe I'll spray it with some more workable fixative afterwards. That way he um, has a chance to be shiny too. He stands out quite a bit. Alright, so now that he's there, I want to line the back. And I... For me, a tag is a journaling spot pretty much 90% of the time. And this lined paper just was enough, was just an, I mean, I didn't want it to be louder than the picture. <laughs> so this has enough pink in it, I think, to play off of it. Well, I can't decide if I want this little bird on the bottom or not. Why not? That just fits so perfectly. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll put the little birdie on it.
going to let this glue dry while I decide whether I want to put an eyelet in it. So stay tuned. think this one is done other than spraying the work at a fixative over it so that this isn't matte um, so it has more of a sh glossy finish I meant to ink him up before I stick him on there oh well too late now anywho I think this one is complete I really like it it's very very tropical spooky forest kind of vibe um, and then of course I've got the journaling space on the back I like that I left the bird there I think it works perfectly so awesome another defemember project completed let's make sure I did everything um, handmade stamps got quite a few of those large tag and the toucan we have it all so this was very fun I thank you for watching I thank Barbara and Louisa for offering these daily prompts for everyone to follow along with this is definitely something I'm proud of so um, we will see you tomorrow for another prompt have a great day.